We're going to attempt to teach you how to make a traditional luau dessert in our newly remodeled kitchen that is finally complete. And we're also going to teach you how to properly pronounce some of our town names here on Kauai today on Hawaii Time. Welcome back to On Hawaii Time, where we bring you weekly travel tips, island facts, and history while we adventure around the Hawaiian Islands. Specifically our home island of Kauai. Today, we're bringing you inside to our kitchen, and we're gonna teach you guys how to make a traditional luau dessert. At least we're going to attempt it because we don't really cook very often. That's right. And, but you know what? We're just gonna give it a shot and maybe some of you at home can follow along and make it yourselves. Yes, now this is supposed to be probably the easiest thing on the planet to make other than just water out of the faucet. So, but we probably will screw it up. Do we have to boil water? We're gonna boil something. But all we need you to do is to relax and unwind. You're, You're on Hawaii time. time. We are headed to Safeway um, to get the ingredients for the halpia. Uh, for those of you visiting the Hawaiian Islands, um, in Hawaiian, Safeway is actually pronounced Safeway. And the meaning, the Hawaiian meaning of Safeway is uh, basically it translates out to, it is a safe way to spend all of your money uh, with inflated prices. Let's head home and make this magic happen. This dessert should take about 10 minutes cooking wise, but it's gonna take two hours to chill because it needs to get to like a gelatin kind of consistency. So the ingredients that we have, the coconut milk, this is full fat coconut milk. We also have our cornstarch. We're only gonna need about five tablespoons of the cornstarch. And we're going to need five tablespoons of the granulated sugar, three fourths cup water. And that is basically it. This is supposed to be idiot proof, but uh, We'll see what happens. Now one of the reasons we decided to do this video is because we actually got a request. Someone said, hey, could you guys make some traditional Hawaiian desserts? And so we figured we would start with the easiest, most simplest one. Yeah, and I think if this actually goes well, we may actually try to do some entrees for you guys. We also got requests for that, I know, back in the past and figured, yeah, why not? You know, we'll try that. Uh, another request we got, so that's why we're gonna combine the two, is how to say some of our town names. Now we're gonna start with the most western beach that we have here on the island of Kauai, and that is Polahale, which means house bosom. So there, there you go. All right, let's get into this. Um, now the couple items you're also gonna need is an eight by eight inch pan. This is what's gonna go in the fridge because this has to be chilled to almost like a gelatin, and that's what takes the two hours. Also a medium saucepan. So Autumn is actually going to heat up the uh, coconut milk into the medium saucepan and whisk it up. And it needs to be whisked to a uh, kind of a thick, um, I don't know. What is this, like frothy or? Yeah, well not too frothy because like, we're, we're gonna add in some of like, the other ingredients like to really thicken it up. Pudding-like? Well, it does say that when it's on the whisk that when, you, when you're when you stirring it up and you take it out, it needs to fall off the whisk, okay. almost like a, kind of like a paste. You know like the Elmer's glue we used to eat in school? Oh yeah, that minty stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The recipe calls for five tablespoons of the cornstarch or to taste. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> five tablespoons of granulated sugar. That does not look healthy. No, it does not. <laughs> it also calls for the three-fourths cup of water. We're gonna combine the sugar and the cornstarch together before we add in the water. Now that looks pretty dry, and speaking of dry, Let's talk about the furthest town west, which is Keikaha. Now, Keikaha actually means dry or arid or hot place. So, there you go, dry. And we'll combine all that together until it's nice and mixed up. Those of you that have watched our channel may know that this actually isn't our first attempt at cooking on camera. We actually did a cooking class at Monkey Pod Jam where we made malasadas and pumpkin spice donuts. 
If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner. All right, Brody, so I'm pouring this coconut milk into this medium saucepan that's on medium heat, right? Yes. Ooh, Ooh it's kind of chunky. Then we'll put this in our recycle bin. Now we're waiting for the coconut milk to start to simmer. Once it starts to simmer, we'll add the cornstarch and the sugar and water mixture, and then we have to whisk it for 10 minutes. That's gonna be like my arm workout for the day. I'm definitely gonna close all the rings on my iWatch. While waiting for this to simmer, Anna made me a mocktail, which is obviously non-alcoholic. Super simple, club soda, pineapple uh, juice, and you're good to go. Now, talking about another town name, let's talk about Waimea. So, that's also heading out west, for those of you who aren't familiar with our island. Waimea actually means reddish water. Now, it gets its name from the acid-rich botanical waters that flows through its veins, fed from the highest swamp in the world, the Alakai Swamp. And what I mean by flowing through the veins, it's the river that comes in to Waimea. And from above, you can actually see it has kind of a reddish tint to it, which is that water from the swamp. The coconut milk just started simmering, so we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients, and then I'm gonna start the whisking. It is, uh, we're gonna have to time this 10 minutes from now. All right. And let the whisking begin. Let me know when you start to feel the burn. I'm up for a challenge. You know I did this before. I'm practically a professional. If any of you have actually tried Haupia from a luau, go ahead and leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Is it one of your favorite things? One of the things you try to avoid? Let us know. I actually really like it. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, it's really, wow. Okay. That is definitely looking closer to translucent. It's, it's, this is really starting to thicken up. So I'm gonna get it nice and thickened up for you and then it'll be your turn. <laughs> okay. We are only two minutes in. I cannot believe we have to do this for 10 minutes. Are you sure? Are you sure it didn't say two minutes? But what you're looking for is it to be translucent. And when you hold the whisk up, it should run off until it just eventually disappears. But we're gonna keep going a little bit longer. What do you think? It's pretty thick, right? Yeah, this definitely looks like Elmer's glue. <laughs> we're halfway there. Halfway. Five minutes. Five minutes. That is some thick stuff right there. The next town I wanna to talk about is Hanapepe, which means crushed bay. Hanapepe is, as you're making again, you're way out towards the west side. So you can see the trend here. We're going from the west around towards the south and then heading towards east if we were to look at this on a map. The next town on our Around the Island tour is LA LA. It means black. Now the next town as we make our way south is going to be Koloa. Now Koloa has two meanings to it depending on how it is written out. Koloa is actually a duck. However, um, with the way that Koloa is pronounced in the way it's written out, it actually means long cane. Now obviously it got this name because of uh, the sugar mill in that area, but we did a video on old Koloa town and we'll put that link up in the uh, right hand corner for you. How's it coming? It's coming. It's pretty thick. Ooh, it's getting thick. Again, as mentioned, 10 minutes or slightly translucent. That is good. All right, well, I think we're actually at 10 minutes because at 10 there's the time. Minutes. Okay. 7.49. Let's turn this bad boy off. Now we've got this pretty whisked up and translucent, so Pour it in. Look at that. Again, this is an eight by eight inch pan. And we have to let it sit. It has to cool on the counter before you place it into the refrigerator. Now, depending on how much starch you actually use, because that was the only 
ingredient uh, that kind of said you can kind of, I don't know, just do it your own way, I guess. We're gonna let this cool, and of course, I'm gonna grab a spoon. Uh, I absolutely love halpia. I love halpia pie. And I love just this halpia here. Okay. So we'll just let that cool before we put it into the fridge. And when it's in the fridge, two hours. An eternity when you're waiting for something sweet. Now the next location we're gonna talk about is Poipu. Now you'll notice I didn't call it Poipu. For many years that's the way everybody pronounced it. But the actual pronunciation of that area, the southern area, is Poipu, because it has the Okino, Okina over the top of it, which separates the word. And the meaning of Poipu is crashing, kind of like the waves as they crash up, and that's actually the meaning of the like, crashing wave. Yeah. So we're still waiting for it to cool down, I guess to get to room temperature before we actually put it in the refrigerator. And Brody says I'm the one who has to test it, so I guess I have to touch the hot pan and see. Well, I mean, it's, stick your finger in it. it. Really? I mean, I guess it's just us, right? Yeah. Ooh, it's really getting, look at it, it's kind of bouncy. I mean, I think it's it's not cold, but it's cooled. It's, it's not hot. All right, it's going in. We'll see you in two hours. Oh. Looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna dump it out onto here. Well, it says you've got to pull it away from the sides. Okay. And then we can, it should come out of the oh. pan. We're gonna be giving this healthy a try here in just a little bit, but before we do that, uh, the next time I wanna talk about, which we skipped accidentally, oops, oops is Kalaheo. And Kalaheo is between LA LA and Koloa. And Kalaheo means proud day. Yeah, Kalaheo. Let's eat this. All right, so as you can see, it, it is definitely really jello-like. So give us the first try. It's really good. We did a good job. We made something and it's edible. That's so good. Wow. Who would have thought the ingredients were so simple? It's so easy. I mean, <laughs> it takes a lot of time only because it's sitting in the fridge. And, uh, but you know, to be honest with you, we have enough ingredients now. We could probably make five or seven batches of this if we just went and got some more coconut milk. That's yep. it. So, Palpia, coconut. Oh, that's good. So I want to talk real quick about this map, which is the Kauai Island Atlas and Maps, which you can get at the furthest, most western bookstore uh, in, in the United, United States, States. <laughs> which is, is in Hanapepe. And what's it called again? It's called the Talk Story Bookstore. That's right. It's actually my favorite bookstore. I spent a lot of money there. This map is amazing. It's going to give you not only the map of Kauai, but it's going to break a lot of things down. What the meaning of uh, some of these towns are, which we never finished, but we will get back to some of these towns, we promise, and help you with the pronunciation. So, but it also gives you a lot of uh, geological information too, which I kind of geek out on a little bit. I'm going to try my best to stick a picture of this map into the video, but I'm using just basic iMovie and I'm... <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that <laughs> quite yet. So we'll see what how the finished product comes out when yeah. you guys get to watch the video. Yeah, well I hope you guys really enjoyed this video because we had a lot of fun doing this. And yeah, and if you guys think that this beautiful display of Halpia looks delicious, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. And it's time for you to show us some aloha and hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications of our videos posted each week. And don't forget to hit the merch store and, and uh, check out all the stuff we have below. and. With all that said, we leave you with aloha. Always remember to relax and unwind. You're, You're on, on Hawaii, Hawaii time. time.